Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another installment of Star Citizen. Now today I've decided I'm going to show you my freelancer. Um, so the freelancer uh, made by Misk also, uh, which you may remember is the company that also makes the Starfarer and Starfarer Gemini. Um, my t one of my top favorite ships in the game, um, not just due to its size and girth, but because of the firepower that it brings. And the Freelancer doesn't fall very far from the tree. Um, now, as you're probably noticing, those are some pretty big guns that I got strapped to the side of this beast. Um, much like the quad size 4 setup on the Freeland, uh, the, on the Gemini Starfarer, the Freelancer has quad size 3 weaponry. So, that's right, I've got four Mantis Gatling guns size 3 strapped to the uh, sides of my Freelancer, uh, which I affectionately refer to as my war van. This thing can lay down some firepower. Um, I mean, it just rains death. Uh, especially with them being ballistics and not laser, they pierce right through them shields and do direct hull damage. Um, now, I gotta say, um, I absolutely love running ballistics, especially on this Freelancer and the configuration that I have. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you are able to just saturate an area, absolutely <clears throat> saturate an area with lead. And I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. Now, if you notice on the back, um, there is a rear-facing turret. It does have the ability to uh, spin 360 degrees, so you can get a view forward. Um, but you don't exactly get the best view, as I'm sure you can kind of tell. Uh, you do get quite a limited uh, front-facing view. However, the rear and the sides are actually pretty decent. So let's go back to first person. And we are going to go visit our favorite ICC cartographer, Tessa Bannister. So let's jump on over to her AO. If you don't know what AO means, it's the Area of Operations, which is technically uh, true, because that is in fact the area in which she operates. She says so herself. Junior cartographer Tessa Bannister reporting in. Junior cartographer, that's I'm important. The eyes all the modest. She's again. modest about her job. What that's wonderful. I see. I see. Which, yes, means I can totally see you. Right now. Anyway, there was actually a reason to why I commed. I'm sort of not allowed to leave my post. Important jump point scanning and all. So... I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Those are some mean say, guns. Some mean, mean guns. Scans are saying something's there, but can't ID it. I love the roar of the Freelancer engines. Oh, and uh, accompanying me on this trip is my faithful voice attack assistant, Alex. Hi, Alex. And she doesn't hear me. Awesome. I uh, will have to see what's going on with that. Let's try it one more time. Hi, Alex. Nope, nope, she's not reading me. So I guess uh, she must be asleep. So I take that back. She is not with us today. That's odd. I turned her on. Giggity. <laughs> so the uh, Mantis Gatling guns, um, you can... There are two avenues in which that you can get the... Mantis Gatling guns, you can either go right to the RSI site, well you gotta go to the site regardless, but you can either get them in Electronic uh, Access or Voyager Direct. Um, and you can get those, let's see, 
I'm trying to look up some information on them real quick because I didn't have it handy. So if you wanted to outright buy them from uh, Voyager Direct, it would be 16,000 UEC each. So that works out to $16 a piece. I'll let you do the math um, because those all are owned. I'm not renting those. Um, yeah, so let, let that sink in for a sec. And, uh, oh! Oh, it's an Aurora! How cute! Let's throw the shields to the front. And just start laying down fire. And he's messed up. Oh! And he's dead! Uh, granted, that was just an Aurora, but as you can see, I was able to keep quite a consistent spray upon him, to which it did, in fact, uh, mess up his trajectory. And with that burst, I've still got 800 rounds per weapon to go. 850 rounds. So again, these are great. Um, you do not need to be the most accurate, um, obviously. Being more accurate does in fact help, but it's not a necessity. One of the reasons I definitely suggest these weapons to people beginning, uh, although they are a bit expensive, let me see if I can figure out uh, how much they are to rent. Go and grab the beacon real quick. Try not to go above. Now, one downfall about the Freelancer um, is its current physics grid. Um, so, as you see, I just got out of the sea and we are moving. Uh, unfortunately, that is something that uh, hasn't been fixed, at least in the 2.63 build, which is this. Hopefully, in the 3.0, um, it is. I did see something. Uh, that was detailing that that issue was um, remedied to some degree. I cannot comment on whether it is fully fixed. However, I have seen some documentation in which says uh, it has been worked on. So if uh, you wanted to rent the uh, S3 Mantis Gatling weapons, they are 1600 rack a piece. So you go from $16 to own one to 1600 rack to rent one. Which, uh, if you're really good at racing, you know, you could probably get that up in, uh, in, in a few days' worth. A few days' worth of, of races, that is. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go to uh, Arena Commander, and uh, you can select online, single player, or private, um, when you click on the map types, um, you can you can actually do classic race, and I think there might be one or two other options. I don't race very often, as it's not something that I'm good at. Um, I've tried a couple of, of online races, and more so offline, because that's kind of my forte for anybody who's seen more than one of my videos. I'm normally playing offline like I am in this instance here because it gives you, in my opinion, a much better gaming experience. Um, I do like to play online sometimes, but I kind of don't like to record the online footage because it feels kind of janky. Um, and I know that's mainly due to the netcode, which hopefully uh, they fixed at least a little bit in 3.0. I've heard that there are some improvements so I am really excited to see that uh, more so than anything um, I really want to see what they've done in terms of um, stabilizing gameplay for for all players the current max uh, per server is 24 uh, and it seems like once you start to get over the 10 threshold the frames really take a serious hit and they've also said something very similar to that about 3.0 um, and in all honesty I would happily take a neutered uh, server uh, population for better frames if you were to tell me 
Yeah. There's only 12 people that can be in an instance, but it's gonna be constant 30. I would happily take that. Happily. And he's dead. Simple as that. Again, it was an Aurora, but when you even get, get to uh, ships like the Gladius, the Saber, or even the Cutlass, sustained ballistic fire like that will make them tumble. I mean, talk about do a barrel roll. They will just, they'll turn into a Connie and go into the death roll, the, the roll of doom. And if you've ever seen a Connie spinning wildly at port, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you can easily make them, you know, slam into things. You can easily throw them off. And uh, as you've seen with the last two pirates, make them spin wildly out of control, which is kind of hilarious in my opinion. Um, you definitely cannot go wrong with straight ballistic loadouts, uh, especially of this caliber. Badum. Yes, that was a joke, and I know that was terrible. Um, the Freelancer's stock loadout comes with four size three tarantulas. Um, if you're not aware, the tarantulas are also a ballistic style weapon. However, instead of having that constant flow and um, spray of lead, they fire one round at a time. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say a slow rate of fire, but they're definitely not fast. I would say they're about on par with like um, the fire rate of like a M M4A laser. So you know, not fast, not slow. Um, you definitely want to be a little bit more methodical with your shots, as you don't have anywhere near as much ammunition as you do with the uh, ballistic Gatlings. Um, you do have, uh, I want to say around, don't quote me, but I want to say you have right around 50 to 100 shots. I don't know, That's just, that's. I'm pulling that figure straight out my ass, so don't, don't take that as gospel. Um, but the, the tarantula loadout really isn't terrible either. Um, they do hit pretty hard, and if you're able to land all four shots onto one target, they're having a bad day. Um, you know, it's not going to be as good as, say, like the C-788 ballistics that are on the Starfarer, but they're not going to have a good day um, when those, those penetrate the shields and, and do direct hull damage. Uh, that is why... Specifically, I like to more often than not go ballistic, uh, and I try to give my turret gunners uh, laser repeaters as it is very hard uh, to be a turret gunner in basically any ship currently. Uh, again, pre 3.0, uh, pre turret updates. So if you're watching this after 3.0 has come out, oh, you're so lucky. Uh, you know, back in my day, we had to turn with the ship and walk three miles up the hill to go to and from school and <laughs> you know um okay i don't know why i just turned into an old man and did that but um the laser repeaters on turrets i feel are the uh better choice due to the fact that if you are in anything and being attacked um there are going to be more pirates spawned um and yeah if you're trying to do evasive maneuvers and you've got someone is basically just strapped to the back and trying to line up those shots. As a pilot, you should even know sometimes it's hard to line up those shots when you've got complete control. So imagine trying to make those same shots with your target moving even more just due to the, the platform that you're on. You know, unstable platforms um, are, are, are a bane. They definitely uh, are more uh, hard. Um, whenever I have somebody turret gunning, on my ships, um, I always try to try to keep it as stable as possible. One of the reasons I really like voice attack, um, I can uh, command the quote AI unquote to uh, manipulate my shields. So if I'm trying, you know, if I'm like in my caterpillar and I've got someone in each of my um, turrets, if I'm being attacked from the front, I'm diverting shields to the front, power to weapons, 
and that gives them a more fighting chance. You know, instead of having to remember the the numpad keys to go forward and back. Speaking of which, I want to I want to equalize those shields. Um, you know, it makes it much more viable in a fight. You have a much higher survival rate when you are manipulating your shields accordingly. Uh, it also doesn't help, I mean, doesn't hurt to have some evasive maneuvering, but you want to be mindful of the crew members that you have, as that also makes their job more difficult, and obviously, if they can't hit targets, then you are a bigger target. Speaking of, it sounds like this man is going, or this pirate is going to start shooting uh, missiles at me, but I am ready. And I am going to unload. And as you can see, this is the saber. So now we're going to see what kind of damage these uh, Gatlings will do to a saber. Oh, if I can keep... Now, you see what I mean? I'm in complete control, and sometimes it's even hard for me to stay on target. And I think I just shot my hull with that. And he's dead. That was a saber. I was on target for, Thank you for a very short amount of time. And I get to walk away. Fly away. He doesn't. So, this was just my quick video um, on the Misc Freelancer. I'm trying to not be as long-winded uh, as some of my other videos, as I know it can be kind of hard listening to me babble for, you know, what seems like an eternity. So, uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, this has been the Miss Freelancer, my my war van. Uh, if you like the content, if you, uh, you know, leave a comment, leave a like. Um, let me know what you want to see. Do you like these types of videos? Do you like the shorter format? Do you want me to keep going into the, the long-winded... Uh, spiels that I've been doing as of late. Let me know. I want I want you guys to, to enjoy this as much as I enjoy doing it. Um, so leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you, what you want to hear. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, because I am genuinely interested. Um, I try to respond to any and every comment if I can. You know, if you got questions, I want to help. I want to answer them. Um, really, I, I, I love the Star Citizen community. I love this game. And most of all, I love y'all. I do. No homo. Well, maybe a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, really, all of you make it worth it. You know, I, I'm still a very small channel. I realize that. But I really like the fact that some of you seem to really be enjoying this. And that's what I'm, I'm doing this for. So please let me know what you want to see. If you like this, if you don't, what you want to see. Um, this has been the Misc Freelancer. And I thank you very much for watching. Peace out. <laughs>